Hello to fans of that Scar Clown. I want to talk about something. What is gone with YouTubers like Geeks and Gamers and Heel versus Babyface? Let me talk about geeks, geeks and Gamers a little bit. I used to watch their shit sometimes. Not a lot, a lot, a lot. No. But when it came to the whole Star Wars um, trilogy, the Disney ones, not the Force Awakens one, the other ones after Force Awakens... I didn't, obviously I am going to watch those eventually, not now, because there's other shit that I just want to watch. There's other priorities I want to do, guys. <laughs> but, you know, from all you things that you hear from the background of these Star Wars movies and everything like that, you're like, oh God, and everything like that, I'm not going to watch that. And if I do, I watch it later on and everything like that, you know? And then the movie, what is it, Sun, um, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, I think it's called, Seven Rings, Ten Rings? I'm going to say 10 rings just in case if anyone says, fuck you. <laughs> you know what? Let me, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Is it say right here? Uh, I mean, I could write it down, but I'm just looking at a YouTuber real quick. See if they, uh, said it in their video. But, um, yeah, like, I unsubscribed to them not so long ago. Um, because I barely watched their channel. So, that was that. But the other one was them talking about the Shun, the Shun, the Shun, the Chi movie, sorry, I remember pronouncing it, but they talk about that movie, and they're basically talking crap about it, like, look, I understand if you didn't like the trailer, you didn't like the trailer, I saw the trailer, and I thought it, it looked fun, I thought it looked great, same thing with the Hawkeye trailer, I can't wait for that fucking TV show, it's a series on, on, on Disney Plus, hell yeah, man, if you watched that Hawkeye trailer, and you enjoyed it, and you don't have Disney Plus, that's the thing, here, Versus Babyface and Geeks and Gamers would tell you boycott Disney Plus. Why? Because there's certain things that's on there that they don't want or they didn't like. Kind of like when one woman, I don't know who fucking stupid fucking pathetic name is, that oh, bitch, um, talked about how stupid um, WandaVision was. Mainly because Mephisto wasn't in it or what she wanted to be in it didn't happen. So it's shit, right? I love WandaVision. And yet, it's funny. I have been told myself that watch the, watch the, watch this show get a, 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 an award and they stay shut. Where are the haters for WandaVision, WandaVision now? Because they got, a, it, it got awards. It did. It got awards for act, from actors and all that. So, what's wrong with these two YouTubers? These, are, these two YouTubers are great examples of what the fuck is. Like, there's something that I'm seeing here that you you type of people, you're not people, you want to be like, oh, let's stop people for destroying culture, basically, it's things that we love, but you are doing that yourself. People that like the Star Wars um series after, you know, Force Awakens, if you like it, that's fine, you like it. I haven't watched them yet, so I can't say that I fucking goddamn hate it. Uh, most people be like, well, most people might think like, oh, that's kind of hypocritical because you, you haven't watched the Child's Play remake, but you don't want to watch that. I'm like, no, I don't want to. The trailer sucked. <laughs> so why would I watch it? If the trailer intrigues me, then I will watch it. Look at the Halloween Kills trailer. It looks good. That's why I want to watch it. Didn't care for Halloween 2018. I saw that trailer and I was like, oh, I'll watch it, but uh, the trailer's there. Uh, and the movie was like, uh, what are they going to do after this? Fuck this movie. But then Halloween Kills comes and that trailer blows my mind. And I'm like, does it have flaws with it a little bit? Yeah, but I'm not going to get too deep into it. it. It was still a good trailer that made me want to see this movie when it comes out. And that's what a trailer's supposed to do. If a trailer doesn't intrigue you, then it doesn't intrigue you. Fine. But don't fucking like, uh, I don't know. Look, most people might be like, oh, that's kind of hypocritical because, again, you get fucking the Charles play remake so many times. Yeah, mainly because it's it's almost the exact same way with the whole what Geeks and Gamers were talking about with Star Wars. But now it's, I feel like that's gone to their head now. That's like, everything's like that now. And it's like, guys, no, it's not. They've, in a way, kind of, that whole SJW Nazi shit agenda has like, in a way, stopped it still it's getting pushed a little bit but it's not as much as what it was back in the day back in what 2019 18 20 
or just even 18 and 19. That shit has that shit died off pretty fast, in my opinion. Not to say it's not there, but that shit died off pretty fast. You know, it started in 2016 with Ghostbusters. Didn't start it with that, but Ghostbusters 2016 is a good example. You know, that movie was complete crap, and that movie was clearly an agenda base. And look at that trailer for Ghostbusters 2016. The trailer's not good. Then you watch the movie, it's not good. Yes, you can have a movie that the trailer is bad, but the movie's awesome. But we do have movies that the trailer's good and the movie's shit. But when it comes to good trailers, did the trailer made you want to see the movie? Yes, that is what's the most important thing. Marketers don't give a fuck if the trailer's good or not. They care if you like the trailer and you're going to see it. That's all they care for. They don't care if you like the trailer or not. They care if you got intrigued with the trailer and you want to go out of your way and watch it. They don't care if you love it or hate it. It's a whole, it's a marketing strategy. Um, this is coming because I'm loading a whole bunch of marketing stuff <laughs> and, and doing, me doing classes and shit. It's not like a big thing of me going to college and everything like that. It's not like that. It's just me doing a class, you know, um, just something for, um, just because something that's going to be on, on my GED and all that. That's, you know, not about that, but like breaking down words and all that and putting it together and writing it all, you know, like writing class and all that shit, you know, if you done your GED, aka high set and shit like that. Um, or your big high school equivalency if you haven't done, if you haven't got your high school diploma at all, basically. It's like that. If you never heard of a GED, basically. Because I've told people about GEDs before and they're like, what's that? And I'm like, hmm? I mean, there's, okay. I don't want to get into that because a lot of people, because I'll get, you know, I'll get sidetracked of what I'm actually talking about here. But, um, so, the Hawkeye trailer, I want to talk about that. The Hawkeye trailer looked dope as fuck. They knew what this movie was. It's going to take place during the holidays, and it's a holiday movie. So, let's make a holiday trailer out of it. And you know what? That shit was good. And the actress that is right next to Hawkeye, I don't know what superhero she's playing as. I forgot. Uh, I apologize. But... I believe she was also in Bumblebee, and I enjoyed her in that movie. And when I saw her in this movie, in the trailer, I'm all like, sign me up. I'm watching this movie because I enjoyed her in the Bumblebee movie, and I thought she was fine. You know, I thought she was a really good actress, basically, you know. Um, yeah, of course she's cute. Of course you got to get some, you know, cute actors and handsome actors and shit. Like, well, cute actresses and handsome actors to play a movie. It's Hollywood at the end of the day, people. But, um... I don't get these YouTubers, you know, I don't really get them at all. I Look, I understand and understand where they're coming from, to be honest. It's the same thing when people talk shit about NXT and being happy that um, Vince changed NXT and it's like, oh yeah, um, always strong men and fuck the indies because that all, all wrestling is supposed to be is just strong big men and fuck the scrawny people. This is why Eddie and Chris Benoit died. Don't tell me no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Those guys were scrawny. And they injected themselves with steroids just to look bigger so they can get attention from the boss. You don't think that's not a fucking thing? Shit happens in football, you dumb motherfuckers. Don't tell me that shit's still not going on. Bitch, please. Oh, but uh, things are different now. Tell that to the government that's been doing sex trafficking for no, who knows how long. I would like to say since 1492. But I'm not getting deep into that. That's something I, that's something that's a knowledge and common sense, people. If that's common sense. Common fucking sense. But going back to Hawkeye and these YouTubers. Going back, common sense. The trailer is fun. Why are you complaining about? Look, if it didn't work for you, it didn't work for you. That's fine. That's fine. But do you say that in your videos? I don't know, because I don't watch your videos. I'm just looking at other YouTubers that, you know, talk, react to what you're talking about. You know? And I'm just like, hmm. Damn, man. Damn. Good thing I'm not part of this crowd. Good thing, good thing I'm that type of person that close the doors and just evaluates 
of what's everything going on. You could be like, oh, oh, ignore that. Or be like, what the fuck is this shit? No wonder I have to, no, no wonder all ancient ancestors, no wonder in Egypt, they wanted, they wanted everyone in the whole planet to focus on themselves. Because this shit is fucking stupid. You know? You know? The shit that um, Heal vs. Babyface does, and the whole thing that Geeks and Gamers talks about, I'm like, look, it's sad when you look at somebody and they became what they didn't want to. They, they became what they came after, basically. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what happens when you eat. <laughs> but yeah. Has that happened to some of us? I mean, that's probably happened to me. But then people told me, yo. And if I didn't listen, who knows what the fuck I'll be right now. Okay? Okay, boo-boos? Those are for the trolls. <laughs> but to my YouTube fans, or my subscribers, or my familia, my friends. Did you enjoy the Hawkeye trailer? If you did, cool. If you didn't, tell me why. I thought it was fun. But you do have to agree, these YouTubers, they, 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 they need to take a step back from social media. It's good. It is. At the end of the day, it's good to take a break. That's just me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, guys, and tell me what you guys think. And I'll put the video in the description box of how of this video was inspired by. So I'll see you guys later.